Hello everyone and welcome back to CIGTR channel. So today this video is gonna be a tutorial to talk with you guys about mask and stencil layer in Medibank Pen Pro. In my previous video about the glitch effect, I already talked about the mask layer in Medibank Pen Pro, but now I will talk about it again so you can see the difference between mask and stencil layer. Okay, so you can see here that I already created an assemble that's a red and green heart here. The red will be on the top and the green gonna be on the bottom. So I will click the red heart and then to go to layer and choose add mask or add stencil you must remember that mask and stencil here is a bit color so that means it work only in black and white color if you're changing the color in this mask and stencil it will count as in black and white with lower opacity or kind of like a lower brightness or lower cell rotation it's not changing the color just black and white okay first i will click add mask here the mask here when you click it the red horse will appear here and has work i will go with the brush in here choose it black and then drag it like this one i will drag in the mask here you can see in the mask now up here the uh the brush that i just drag the line here the red, uh, the black line here uh, so when you draw in the mask layer of the red heart is we can you use a, an eraser and then erase the red heart and show the green heart below yeah that's it so what if you changing the colors in here as i said that in the a bit color is we can your lower opacity and it's not erase on the red is still kind of is mixing between red and green color so that is what mask work and how is um, useful and proposed to use that that depend on your idea as you can see use it in the glitch effect that I did in previous video okay now we turn off the mask layers in here and and you go to layer and add, add stencil layer well another thing different now you add the stencil layers in here you can see that the red hearse is disappear and it's just so the green heart when you use the stencil layer here is we call it to put a sheet of paper on the red heart and then uh, you use the brush just the same you black and white here and drag it like you use the seizure or uh, the knife whatever it is you will cut it okay cut the seat so the red heart will appear or you can count as you cut the green heart and the red heart will appear so another thing i want to uh, help you guys not understand so i create a new layer here that is layer 6 i use the fill tool and choose the blue color here to fill the whole background and you see what different here because the layer 6 here will cover the green color so the green color is disappear if i move the layer green here above the layer 6 it will appear again so what things that means here that means the stencil and the mask layers in here both of them it will work just in the view of the red heart not affect to the background so that's it so the purpose of the mask uh, as I said, that depends on your ideas and the stencil I can make for some example here. As you see in the, uh, the pictures in here about the tire key that I have, I will click on that and go to add stencil. Okay, now it disappear. I will use the brush with the black color and then drag it to create some effect. Like this one, can draw whatever I want. You can use this one to draw like uh, use for the effect like this one or can make a cover layer or you can do something like drawing something uh, like this with the uh, background up here below the, the, the text like this one. Here. that's how it works another cool thing about this tension layer that is is a a bit layer is it a bit layer that means you can change it to the half tone layer 
I already have the video about the half stone layer, so you can check it in my channel. Okay, so with the half stone layer, you can see you can create some effect that's really cool with this one. You can click double click to the stencil layers in here, or simply click to the wheel uh, of this uh, half, this stencil layer. Okay, and then you can see the half stone line here. Choose net dots, vertical line, horizontal line, whatever you like here, and check it. You can see it in the pictures right now. Is adding some effect. Uh, vertical lines in here and you can change to the lines like uh, more light or just more light and set a ton depth like this one you can see that you create some effect for the picture right now so that is about the things that stencil will work if you change it into the half tone layer so this is one uh, example but I think in Medibank Pen Pro that uh, this program is um, built for drawing comic so it must have something useful in drawing comic right so i have an assembly in here one of my page comic uh, upload uh for years ago okay so do you remember about the photoshop that you have the stamp uh, i really really love that uh, things on photoshop that you can use the stamp in here and uh, draw the texture with this stamp and when i work in medibank pen pro i have to use the select tool to select an area and drag uh, the texture to this one and then use the eraser to erase it until it go to the self that i want so here i think about this one i will create a new layer here you can see that this one gonna be a layer that light art and and then I create a layer change here. Then I drag the tone, the material that I think it will use for this character and drag to here. Okay. I click OK. And then you can see the whole image here now will cover with the screen tone. No worry. Now I have the stencil. I will add the stencils here. This one will disappear. The next thing that I will just use the press and then I draw around the position that I want it will appear the screen down. That's it. And in case that I make some mess in here, I just use the eraser to erase it. If you have the graphic tablet like me here, I'm not using mouse, yeah. Um, it will be really effective and work the best because you know that some parts that I I have to use the brush that will work faster than I use the select tone. Just like uh, some pose here, I will work uh, a tone here to make create a new layer, okay? And I want to have the tone that create the shadow for the character. With this one, it's really quick. I just do this like this, and then go to here as stencil, then use the brush, and the shadow here like this one do you know why it's quick because you know that uh, maybe I will use just one screen tone in here for a lot of place in the comic page if I use the uh, the method that use the select tone here I will have to spend the time to uh, checking this and checking that and then drag the position that I want to uh, appear and then I will have to drag it later Okay, and in some case that maybe the paper is not big enough for the, the canvas that I have in here So I have to work repeat those steps again again and again. It will be a lot of time So with this one here, I will have More uh, reduce a lot of time with this one here, which is like this. I will have the same here. Uh, sorry Okay, and the same time I will draw anywhere I want to create the shadow of the character real quick like this so that's it how the stencil and the mask layer work uh, you can think more about the purpose that you can use with this one hope you can find something useful in this video thank you for watching goodbye see you next time